For this application, I will use list with pictures and text. First of all, I will create a list of students' names and I need to view the students' names on a label. And each time I click on the button, I will move from one student name to another student name. And when I reach the last student name, I need to get to the first one, which is called Traverse. So to avoid the error we will have after reaching the last index of the last element in the list, we have to create a condition where uh, we can reset the index to the first element index. Now to create a list, we will add a global variable called names. Then I will create a list from the list tab, make a list. Because I will create a list of students' names, that means I have to add a text block so we can assign a name for each block. We will add five names. So now we have a list of names. The first element in that list has the index 1, the second one index 2, and so on. Now, every time I click on the button, I need to change the text label into one of the list elements. To be able to deal with the list, I have to create another global variable called index, which will be used to move through the array or through the list elements. I will initialize it by one, which is the first element in the list. So now every time I click on the button, I need the level one text to change to element 1, then element 2 and 3 and so on. So, go to lists, select list item from names list where the index is 1. So in this situation, every time I click, I will retrieve one element at a time from my list but my index is 1, so every time I will retrieve the first element. To move from the first to the second, I need to increase the index by 1. So we will change the value of the index and add 1 to it. Click on next name button and I'll move on. When I reach the last name, I click on next, it will ask for index number six, which is not available. It will give me an error message that number six or index six is not available as we have just five indexes. To avoid this issue, we have to uh, traverse through the list, which means when I reach the last element, I need to get back to the first one using index. So when the index is more than the list length, So we will check if the index is more than the length of the list, which is 5. I need to change the index value to the first index of the list, which is 1. Oh, we 
have to refresh the components. Abdullah, then we'll get back to the first index. Okay. Now, we will add a photo gallery where we can move from one picture to another picture and we'll do the same when we reach the last picture of our gallery. So, to do that, get back to design, add an image. So, when I click on next image button, okay, I will change from the first to the second image and so on. So the same steps I apply to uh, I apply to the names I will apply it again to the text uh, to the sorry to the image Now I will apply some pictures from my computer So I'll go to block. Now I'll create another variable for pictures. I will call it image. Then I will create a make list. We have five pictures, so we'll have five components. Dealing with pictures is the same as dealing with text, but we have to add the picture name as it's mentioned here. So we have first picture is picture one, all small letter without spaces, and the extension the extension is JVG. So I will write it like this. We'll do the same for all pictures. Now, when I click on button one, I'll do the same. I'll navigate through the list, and when I reach the last one, I'll get back to the first index of the list. We can use the same index, and or we can use a different index. So I will use a different index for this task. Because I will view the picture on the cam on the image. I don't need the label. So I'll do image set image. Picture to my list using image list and using image index. The same thing here. But we will different we'll use different index. Now I will reset all components and test the application again. 